Omega-3, iodine, what other trace elements in fish? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, well, in, in particular selenium, zinc, copper and manganese. Now these are used in, in various aspects of biology, and particularly in the antioxidant defense systems. You can't build at your own. There's the, there are two types of antioxidant defense systems, the sort of stuff that most people know about, like vitamin C and lipokine and that sort of stuff. But the body doesn't rely on you just eating antioxidants. It makes its own antioxidant enzymes, and it uses selenium, copper, zinc, and manganese to do that. <coughs> and zinc's also particularly important for the translation of the inf information from uh, the genes to the making of proteins. It's particularly important in that process as well. So uh, it, it, it's, it, there's a lot of stuff in there that you get in the seafood that's not just fats that are important. And is the problem that simply we're not eating enough seafood or that we're eating too many competing types of seafood, uh, too many competing types of food and, uh, for example, omega-3 has been not made available to the cells that once may have done? Yeah, well, it's both. I mean, the, traditionally, if you go back uh, uh, a century or so, you'd have found that seafood played a very important part in the diet of, of um, people, certainly in, in Britain. And, you know, when cook came out here, this place was just swarming in seafood. Uh, it, 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 historically, seafood has, you go back to the origin of the civilizations, the five written languages, you know, they occurred beside water. Uh, the Yangtze, the Tiber, the Nile, the Ganges, and the Euphrates. And uh, ever, ever since then, you know, people have been fishing, making boats, and later on, the boats served the purpose of warships, and for pillaging and plundering, but the Minoan civilization, the Greek civilization, uh, the rise of Rome and all that stuff, in all of that era, seafood was a particularly important and, and delightful delicacy for them.